Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of AWS Storage Day. We're here in downtown Seattle, crisp downtown Seattle. I think winter is coming. We're going to talk about the snow, pun intended, and also the ever expanding cloud. The cloud, it's in a way, it's like the universe. It's moving out to the edge and to the data center, which is really another edge node if you think about it. Mark Cree is here. He's the general manager of AWS Gateway, and Sid Roy is the GM of AWS Snow Family. Folks, welcome, good to see you. Thank you. So Mark, talk about how you think about on-prem and, and hybrid? That's an excellent question, Dave. So I represent a group of services called Storage Gateway, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what Storage Gateway does, is it bridges your on-prem applications with the cloud. And the way we do that is we deliver it with really four services that we, all call, we call gateways. The first one being Volume Gateway, and what Volume Gateway does is give you a way to connect your block storage on-prem with the cloud for file shares for backup, is a popular application there, and uh, for applications that can tolerate some latency. Mm -hmm. um, that's our traditional service. Then we uh, came out with something called Virtual Tape Gateway, which I'm personally really excited about because we all know about you know, the big clunky tapes that have been around for 50 years that you have to have trucks pick up and go store in a mountain and all that. Um, with Virtual Tape Gateway, what we can do is we, we, all of our gateways install either as a software package on-prem or as an appliance, hardware appliance, but we put the tape gateway on-prem and the customer is able to back up their tapes to us and we look like a tape drive, virtual tape drive. So what we're doing is we're allowing the customer to basically digitize in the cloud all of their legacy tapes. And this I think is a huge industry and you know, we've got some great customers there. One would be Formula One. Um, they've used virtual tape library or gateway to um, basically could reduce their recovery time from five days down to one. So big impact there. Uh, the next gateway is our file gateway. And what our file gateway does, again, sits on-prem, either the software package or as a hardware appliance. And file gateway exposes both an SMB share for Microsoft traffic and then an NFS share for your NFS traffic. And Basically what we do is we front end S3 with this gateway, and so the gateway caches, so you, your active workflow gets really great performance, but you can move your inactive data to the cloud in S3, uh, where you've got durable storage, it's, you know, it's over multiple regions, you can run all of our analytics on that, on that data as well. Um, a good example there would be Moderna, the company working on the COVID vaccine. They used storage gateway, the file version, to move their instrumentation and scientific data into the cloud. Where once it's up in S3, we, you know, we've got a ro really robust set of tools that allow them to do analytics on it. And then finally, but not least, our, our last announcement was something called FSX Gateway. Mm -hmm. And FSX is a kind of a cool product. So we offer FSX as a Windows file system or file share in the cloud. Um, the, the gateway basically acts as a cache to that. So, a customer can put our FSX gateway on-prem in lieu of like a server of some sort, and we'll cache all the traffic for that active workflow again, and then push their inactive data back to the FSX file system in the cloud. Cool, a lot of ways to get data in, yes. into the cloud. A lot of compatibility issues, so excellent. Thank you for that, Mark. Sid, we know about Snowball, Snow Cone, Snowmobile, all the snows. You know, where does that fit in? Yeah. So. Let me, let me talk about the AWS Edge first. The broader edge spectrum of AWS spans many things from snow to outpost to IoT, where there's a lot of data being created at the edge. Within this edge spectrum, there is the rugged mobile edge, which is where snow plays, right? So snow's purpose is really to capture, transform, and optionally move the data from rugged edge to AWS, right? And in our portfolio, we have different devices. Uh, so let me start with the Snowcone device we announced last year in 2020. Uh, Snowcone is a small uh, tissue box size device. You know, it, it, it is portable, it's highly mobile, portable, rugged. It can, it can capture data from rugged sensory end, uh, endpoints and industrial equipment. And once we capture the data, you can process the data locally right there. And then if you have to send the data back to AWS, you can ship the device back or use data sync to transfer the data back into AWS. Now if you have higher compute needs, where you have what we call the core edge, where it's not portable, but you need to kind of process there, we have the Snowball Edge device. Uh, that can be single node or multi-node Snowball Edge devices in groups of clusters for storage, edge storage, edge compute. There you can process like large scale data capture 
and transform it right there with you know machine learning or other data management and analytics right there for real time and AI based edge local decisions. So I'll give you a couple of examples in each category. So for Snowcone, for example, we are partnering with Facebook to deliver uh, private LTE based uh, networks for uh, remote and rural areas where the connectivity is not yet there, right? So, so uh, we are serving those communities in partnership with Facebook to deliver private LTE networks. The second example I'll give you is with the Snowball Edge device with multiple nodes. We, US Air Force recently demonstrated uh, their ABMS system, which is the advanced battle management system where they can do like a lot of data capture and local edge simulation with AI and ML on containers right on the snow cone, uh, on the Snowball Edge devices. So those are two examples of how we're doing up, uh, edge local processing and capture. Well, I think, I think you guys got it right. You got a lot of ways to get data on, you know, the on-ramps into the cloud. But I, I'm particularly struck by you know, your edge, you know, we didn't get into the edge strategy, but the, the idea of processing locally, bringing machine learning, uh, you know, because the future, we think anyway, is AI inference and, uh, where the data lives. Right. And yet, like you said, if you want to bring it back, you right. can bring it back right. and we have ways to get it back. Right? Right. Exactly. I'll give you guys the last word. Last word, well, I, I would just say, you know, our FSX gateway is a relatively new announcement. It's got some really cool applications for um, high performance uh, Microsoft applications, but also for remote offices that want to share files. Great. Well guys, Mark, Sid, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Thank you. Sharing the insights and, yeah. and the data, I really appreciate it. Okay, and thank you for watching. This is theCUBE's coverage of AWS Storage Day. Keep it right there. <laughs>